guys, it's Francesca with the AC, and in AC and Insiders, I have quite the treat for you. I'm talking with the Heather, yes, you know, the Heather that you all <laughs> are always emailing, of Taylor Made Casting. She's the founder, she is the worker bee behind it all, and thank you so much for talking with us. Now, we just conducted an interview because we know that you are nominated for an Emmy when it comes to casting, but we want to give our AC and Insiders, who really are up and coming, aspiring actors, the top three things that they need to really get into and penetrate Atlanta's filming film and TV industry. So what are they? Okay, definitely first, it's really important what your photos look like. Don't always submit the same photo. We want to see the diversity that you can give us. We want to see what you'll look like if you're the rich person at the fancy party. We want to see what your plain Jane mom look is like. We want to see what your homeless look is like. Not everyone has one of these looks, but if you're trying to apply for these roles, it's really important that the photo that you submit with looks like the role that you're applying. So when we ask for a selfie, if it's as long as you look like exactly how you're applying, it doesn't have to be at the very moment. We're doing that because we want to see exactly what your hair length looks like. But if you want to play with it and put it a little up, a little down, feel free to not be shy. Send us your different looks. We want to see what you're capable of because that will give us more ammo to give to our directors to get you the best role because they're going to see those photos as well. What's your second tip, Heather? Second tip, don't give up. Apply, apply, apply. Don't just apply once and disappear. We have thousands of people that apply for each role that we do. Honestly, some of these roles might be five people. I know you guys see me cast and you'll see me cast and cast and do more posts. It's not because it's a 300 person day. It's because I am picky and I am not gonna settle. So until I get what I'm looking for, I'm not giving up just the way you're not gonna give up because you want that role. So if we work together, we can get you there. It's just really important. And number three, anything else they can do? Number three, I would say, okay, I would say, you know, an agent is not necessarily the most important thing right off the bat. It's really important that you spend time on set. Don't be above set. Don't be above being a background performer. Being a background performer is how I started working. And because of that, it led me to being in a stand-in, the photo double and doing other roles. Without that experience, I would not be a casting director right now. It is what led me there. So don't give up. You need to keep trying, do different things to perfect your craft. If you feel like your skin isn't like the best way and it should look better, go and take some time to care for your skin. I use Mario Badesco. It's at Ulta. Very inexpensive, unbelievable skincare. Do things to, you know, really perfect your craft, spend time on yourself. And then maybe once you get to a level where you see you're booking a lot of featured roles, you keep getting called back to things, then you can present that information to an agent and an agent might be interested in having you. There are also, be aware, different levels of agencies. There are agencies that are the top level and then there's ones that are lower. Please know no one will ever take your money. Never spend money on anything. If you're going to get headshots done, there's reasonable people that you can get it through. Uh, one of my employees actually does headshots as well. We'll be doing some sort of things like that in the future. But you can get that done very easily with different places. It's not always about the most fantastic photographer. It's about capturing what you look like. And if you change what you look like, you want to keep that up as well. So just keep in mind that those things are important. Don't give up. Constantly apply. See different roles that might work for you. Think about who are you as an actor or a background performer? What is the role that you're going for? And maybe just focus on those roles. If that's you've stereotyped yourself and you want to just be one type, you keep going strong for that one and do different photos of that. Otherwise, show us your diversity and definitely don't give up because I promise we'll get to you. If you keep making your face show up in my database, castingtailormade.com. Also, you can go on Facebook casting, except for word, Taylor Made, T-A-Y-L-O-R-M-A-D-E. You're going to see all the castings I'm doing, and it's going to make it so easy for you. Just keep applying. Don't give up. I promise. Hey guys, make sure you are following her on all of the social media platforms as well, because she constantly keeps the castings going. And this won't be the last time that you hear from her as well. No. She actually plans to do her own videos, hopefully in the future. Yes, when, when I have time. It's a, it's a busy season for us right now. The fall is always super busy, but... We do want to do, um, and we're working on it, just trying to find the time, of course, just doing some little inspirational videos and also just hints and things that are helpful for you as a background performer to be able to better your chances of getting cast. So just keep on following up and make sure you watch our posts, keep applying and do your diligence and you'll, you'll get there, I promise. Insiders, you can see to do your diligence and stay a AC Insider so that you can continue to watch our posts and 
continue to seek content like this to better your own career in the booming entertainment industry right here in Georgia.